Hey, you got a minute? Let's read a book. Complex systems theory is very similar to game theory. The individual is not the system. This is the science of creating models to explain things, not simulating reality. Adam Smith wrote the first work on this, and so it's the underpinning of modern economics. We can do a lot more now with computers than we could ever do before. Systems are non-linear, so let's break this down. Let's examine the standing ovation problem. Standing ovations, or when everybody stands up after a particularly good performance. We can't predict when they're going to occur, so let's build a model. The goal of which is to ease our thinking, not construct a simulation of reality. Anytime you have an agent observe the behavior of another agent, that agent receives a signal. There's lots of ways for agents to receive signals. Signals are just incoming information. Vision and sound are signals. The behavior of other agents are signals. Let's use Python rather than math. We've got our total audience size and the performance quality. When we set the standard deviation, we basically set the height of the bell curve. So if our signal standard deviation is 0.1, it's a pretty low curve which means certain percentages of the audience will find the quality high and certain percentages of the audience will find the quality low. This should be a list comprehension, but I don't have the time to fix it. Anyway, we just figure out who stands based on the stand threshold, and then we can count the number of people standing. That model doesn't take into account any of the signals we're receiving from other agents, so we need to add a parameter called social influence threshold. Everybody stands up if enough people stand up. Okay, now let's add proximity as a factor. In our first two models, there was no such thing as location, so everyone sits on top of each other. But in the real world, there are seats in an auditorium. So we get a 10 by 10 array of zeros. We place signals within the audience. We add social influence based on proximity instead of just based off of some threshold. Basically, if the people next to you are standing, you stand. Then we count the final stand count. Okay, now you know how to build models of complex adaptive social systems. Or at least you know about how to build models of complex adaptive social systems. Stay tuned, next we'll talk about bees.